Hi guys, this is the Innovative Minds Tutor. We are still continuing on geometry, uh, center theorem. Uh, today we are going to look at the center theorem that states angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Right, without wasting time, let's put this into practice. Uh, given O is the center of the circle with um, arc AB, we can see this arc AB there. Uh, forgive me about my accuracy in terms of just drawing the sketch. Well, um, what is important here is applying, guys. Hope um, you will learn, right? AB subtending what? AOB at the center and uh, APB at the circumference, right? I repeat, O is the center of a circle with um, arc AB subtending AOB at the center and APB at the circumference. Remember that the theorem states that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Note, it is not the angle that is at the circumference that is twice, but it is the angle at the center that is twice, not the angle at the circumference. The one that is at the circumference, it's half the one that is uh, at, um, at, at the center because the one at the center is twice uh, is twice than the one that is in the, in, at the circumference. Remember, it says angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. The one that is twice, it is the angle at the center, not at the circumference, right? I was uh, emphasizing that so that we don't make any mistake when it comes to such problems, right? So we are required to prove that angle AOB is twice angle APB. First thing first, uh, when you're building a house, you cannot... Um, you must start with construction. You must construct first. A house cannot be built without construction. There must be construction. So first thing first, we are going to say con uh, construction, right? Construction. Okay. Then we write construction. So what are we constructing here? We are going to construct. Um, we are going to draw PO. So let's draw here. I will use dotted lines. Draw PO to produce Q or to extend Q. So we are going to have a Q here. All right. So this is Q to extend. Okay. So we are going to say draw. Specifically in this video, we are focusing on proving the center theorem. So this is also examinable. Draw OP or PO. And, uh, and produce, produce or uh, extend, produce to, produce to Q, right? Produce to Q or extend to Q, right? So those are the terms uh, that you can use. We are not done, guys. Uh, remember, right, we, are, we are required to prove that uh, AOB is twice a uh, APB. So we are going to write proof here. So it's going to be proof. Then from here, remember, uh, what will be our statement? Remember, statement is, our statement is that, uh, remember, we forgot to label here. So it's going to be angle P1 here, angle P2. So we're going to have angle O1 and angle O2 here. Right. So, um, okay. So proof. So we're going to write proof here. So what is happening? We can see that angle O1 is twice at angle P1. So... That's the first statement that we can write from there. Angle O1 is twice. Oh, it's not twice. <laughs> it's not twice. Let me not lie. Let me not lie. It's not twice. What is happening is that angle O1, guys, it's, it, it's, it's, it's an angle. It's an exterior angle. It's an exterior angle. Angle O1, it's an exterior angle. Uh, it's an exterior angle of a triangle, right? Of a triangle uh, P O P O A or P A O. So we can see that angle O1 is equals to angle P1 plus A, right? So you learn that in grade uh, 9. So meaning that angle P1 plus angle A, right? Um, yeah, angle, angle O1 is equals to angle uh, P1 plus angle A. And similarly, uh, angle O2 is equals to angle P2 there uh, plus angle P2 
pb right then i mean angle plus angle p uh, plus angle b sorry for that angle o2 is equals to angle p2 plus b similarly here angle o1 is equals to p1 plus a what is the reason exterior angle the reason will be exterior angle of a triangle right so that will be our reason okay this is the reason right so the second the second the statement that we can see from here we can see that angle a o a and angle o p angle o a we can see from there that angle o a and angle o p and angle o p are equal why what is the reason of saying that angle o a and angle o p and angle o p are equal what is the reason of saying that uh, angle o a and angle o p and angle o p are equal the reason is that they have the same radi, they have the same radius. So we, we cannot say radiuses, we can say just say radi, radi. So right. So we're going to say radi. We are not done. Uh, we can see that angle uh, O1 is twice uh, angle. No, before we, we, we go to the twice part, there's something that we we are um, we are forgetting to write here. What is that? We can see that uh, angle p1 and angle a are equal what is the reason the reason will be angle opposite equal sides so we can see that this it's, a, it's an isosceles triangle since angle o p and angle o a are equal we can see it. so that makes p1 and uh, and angle a equal so in this case what, we, what are we going to do we are going to say angle p1 is equals to angle a right similarly and angle P2 is equal to angle B. What is the reason, guys? Angle, angles, angles opposite, we are going to say angle opposite equal side. Angle opposite equal side. Or, but you cannot say base angles of an isos, right? We write it like this. Angles opposite equal side or opposite angles equal side. Or you could say opposite angles equal side. Or just say angles opposite equal side, right? Because this is an isos. We can see that uh, PO and OA are equal and PO and OB are equal, right? I hope that is clear, guys. So we go to the last part. Uh, before we go to the last part, uh, we are not done. We can see that angle O1 is twice at, now we can write this. Angle O1 is twice at angle P1. Similarly, an angle O2 an angle O2, an angle O2 is twice at angle P2, right? Okay, so from here, uh, right, angle O1 is twice at angle P1, and angle O2 is twice at angle P2. So we are not done, guys. Uh, <clears throat> when we, 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 we sum up, uh, to form, remember, to form AOB, we will sum up angle O1 plus angle O2. So what are we going to do? We are going to say angle O1 plus angle O2. Why are we adding this? Because we can see that angle O1 and angle O2 uh, forms angle AOB. So that's why I said angle O1 plus uh, angle O2. So what is angle O1? We can see that it's, uh, it's twice at P1. What is angle O2? It's twice at P2. All right. Remember that angle O1 and angle O2 forms what? AOB. So we are going to replace by a o b there right so we can see there's a highest common factor there let's factor out so we are left with angle p one plus angle p two right we are not done a o b uh, angle a o b remember that angle o one plus angle o two forms angle a o b and that p one and p two forms is formed uh, in angle a PB is formed in angle APP. So in, the, in in that manner, we could say uh, APB. Then I think we have proven. We have proven. Right. So these are the things, guys, you should consider when working with uh, angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. They will ask you to prove this proof. This is uh, this proof is examinable, guys. So hope this video has helped you. Uh, we saw that first thing first is construction. After construction, we, uh, we also saw that uh, this angle is an exterior angle of uh, P1 plus A 
is an exterior angle which is equal to the sum of interior angle P1 and A plus A. Similarly, angle O2 is twice it. I mean, similarly, angle O2 is an exterior angle is, is equal to, to the interior opposite angle which is P2 as well as A plus A B. We also saw that uh, the aridices there, which the aridas, there's a, there's a radi, not radices, sorry for that. Uh, there's a radi, o, OA and OP and OB, they are radi. We also saw how uh, we can prove this uh, theorem, guys. I hope uh, it's appealing and it's clear, guys. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Our second video of this uh, will be uh, practice. Yes, we'll put this into practice. Hope you find this video uh, useful and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, we love you.